Yeah, it's your boy Zente, and we here, y'all. Let's hop right into this video. Guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you never miss any videos. Drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to 30 likes. I think you're going to like this video. <clears throat> but the video that we got for you today is this kid runs so fast people are calling him the fastest child in the world. Let's see how true this is. Let's hop right into this. On the internet, a common viral trend is seeing people with amazing skills show off what a lifetime of training and dedication allows them to do. Most people would assume that you'd have to work well into adulthood to pull off some of these incredible antics, but those people couldn't be more wrong. There are some incredible kids out there who have incredible talents, and in many cases could even outcompete adults in their same fields. Ready to meet these extraordinary kids? Let's get it on! Maxim Reznichenko how early can you start training a true champion? In the case of astounding young athlete Maxim Reznichenko, his parents had a feeling that he would be something special in the world of sports before he even left the womb. By the age of 18 months, when some kids haven't even started speaking yet, Maxim was conquering slopes on a set of skis, a task even adults with a lot of experience using their legs have difficulty with. Maxim's only five years old now, but he's accomplished more athletic feats in his short time than most people ever will. Just to name a few, he's able to drive a four-wheeler, jet ski, roller skates, snowmobiles, and even BMX bikes. As if that wouldn't be impressive even for an adult, Maxim also partakes in track and field, gymnastics, rock climbing, tumbling, swimming, and believe it or not, parkour. With a resume like that at such a young age, it's actually pretty believable when he says he wants to grow up to be a superhero. Re <clears throat> I like that, but the crazy part is, I'm not capping, but this was me. My mom said I had teeth at two months. I was walking mad fast. I was really good at baseball. Some of y'all never going to notice because there's no really way for me to prove it. I mean, I got a bunch of trophies in my crib. I could show y'all this one day, but this was me. I was one of those people. I started playing baseball at four years old, and I was good at four. So... This was me, but we never gonna get a chance to really even experience that. But I could just be great on YouTube and everything else I do. I also make music. Links is in the description. Check it out if you want to. You say Imai. In the world of martial arts, there aren't many names as big as Bruce Lee. The Chinese Kung Fu master is still spoken as one of the greatest to ever live and has inspired every generation to come since him. And that very much includes Ryusei Imai. The Japanese boy began watching Lee's films at the ripe old age of one and quickly became obsessed with copying the flashy martial arts tricks shown off by his idol. But much like his hero, Ryusei takes his training incredibly seriously, Yo. doing 90 minutes of training when he wakes up at 6 a.m and after he gets home from school. The internet fell in love with the eight-year-old prodigy when a video of him perfectly matching every move in a famous Bruce Lee film with eerily perfect precision was posted. My son Just look at those moves, every more. second perfectly mirrored without even having to look at the screen. If you're into martial arts, and let's face it, who isn't? Ryusei Imai is certainly a name you won't stop hearing anytime soon. AJ Stunts. <laughs> How old were you when you first learned to ride a bike? Seven? Ten? How about less than two? Meet AJ Stunts, the youngest BMX stunt rider in the world. You heard that right, stunt rider. As soon as AJ had figured out the basics of how to walk, he was already off on two wheels, arguably mastering biking before running. He was such a natural at it that he actually attracted the attention of professional stunt rider Jason Pullman, who took the little prodigy under his wing and was so blown away that it wasn't long before the 
two began traveling and putting on stunt shows together when AJ That's was fire. only six years old. It isn't every day you get to see a first grader pull off the kinds of tricks that even the bravest of adults would cower away from. So AJ's shows always attract huge crowds as he pops wheelies, jumps ramps, and pulls off whatever this insane display of balance is called. AJ has even brought others into the act with him, jumping over 15 people with ease. Those people might even be braver than him for trusting their lives to a seven-year-old on a motorcycle. Roman Marcote of all the biggest team sports, hockey is probably seen as one of the roughest, with its famous all-out brawls and blisteringly cold temperatures. And while that might seem a bit too tough for most kids, Roman Marcote is absolutely not most kids. The Alaskan-born boy started training in skates Born in the Alaska, bro. before he could even talk, but that's probably due to his brain being more focused on athletic pursuits. While he may not have had a lot of experience walking yet, he took to the ice like a champ, quickly becoming more adept on skates than on his feet, and that was when his father knew that Roman would become one of the greats. Since then, the two have never taken a day off, and Roman's training videos, originally posted as just a way to show his progression, started getting some real attention. After all, people take notice when they see something amazing, and watching a kid who could easily upstage professional level hockey players definitely fits the bill. Roman is so good that he had to be put on a local hockey team with boys much older than him, and even with that seeming disadvantage, he's constantly the MVP of ever every game. I kind of feel sorry for the parents of any team that's got to go against him. <laughs> Jackson Goldstone Lots of people bike to school or work every morning, but there probably aren't many parents that would trust their kindergartner to do so alone. That's probably because they're not the parents of Jackson Goldstone, a BMX viral sensation who turned his commute to class into an extreme sporting event. While most people would probably be terrified by the thought of jumping a bike off a hill or off a table, that's just part of Jackson's daily routine. In his online debut at just five years old, the boy was showing off some serious spins, jumps, and tricks on on his two-wheeler that even adults couldn't land. But that was more than six years ago, and just wait till you see how far the 11-year-old Jackson's come. Being in the air is pretty much just like freedom for me. Whoa! Looks like his skills seriously scaled up with him. At this rate, maybe he'll be jumping Mount Everest by the time he's 18. Um, Cristiano wait. Ronaldo Jr. Oh. With the biggest personal Instagram account in the world, it's safe to say that pretty much everyone's heard of Cristiano Ronaldo. The global soccer phenomenon is widely regarded as one of the best in the world, and it seems his genes are strong, because his son, Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., seems to have picked up a thing or two about football from his pops. While his famous father played for Juventus in Turin, Italy, Ronaldo Jr. was put on the under-9 Juventus team and has been absolutely crushing it. In one season, where his father scored a total of 34 goals, Ronaldo Jr. nearly doubled that with a whopping 58 for his team. Maybe instead of Jr., they should be calling this kid Cristiano Ronaldo 2.0. Colin Jin. <laughs> Parents usually put their kids oh. in team sports sometime around the age of 9 or 10, but in the Hell case no, of Colin Jin, four. he was the one who wanted to be on a team at only 4 years old. Me. His natural interest in the game of basketball came at such a young age, but his body was already doing things that most grown men can't accomplish. At only 10 years old today, Colin has been invited to events with professional players to show off his wicked skills that are oh. practically on par with oh. the Harlem oh. Globetrotters. Oh. Not only is he skilled, but he's a bit of a hand for the camera, pulling off crazy dribbling tricks that usually take years to master. With his level of agility, speed, skill, and handling at such a young age, there's little question that Colin Jin is definitely going places. Quincy Simmons most athletes spend their entire lives training to master just one sport. Yet at just six years old, Quincy Simmons has been able to conquer two. Don't let this Australian little girl's pigtails fool you. She's one of the top-ranked surfers and skaters in the entire world for her age range. Oh, just a few years ago, completely. Quincy's family took her on her first trip to the beach, about 100 kilometers from their home in Brisbane. And even though she had never been in the ocean before, she took to it like, huh, well, a fish in water. As soon as she got on a board for the first time, she was a total natural, even landing a few waves on that first visit. Still, as the family lived so far from the ocean, her craving for extreme activities had to be quenched some other way. So her family got her into skating. There must be some crazy balance in this girl, because she rips on land just as well as she does in the water. Her family is constantly blown away by her insane technique that just sort of comes naturally to her, almost like she was born for this. Quincy is so insanely adept at gliding on waves and ramps that she's even 
even earned herself the nickname Flying Squirrel. And when Tom you Morgan. see how she carves it up, it isn't hard to see why. Whatever the supernatural source of her insane talent is, we can be sure that Quincy isn't going to stop amazing the world anytime soon. Tyler Armstrong Mountain climbing isn't exactly for everyone. Nah, what with what? the dizzying heights, the fear of avalanches, and the crazy amount of physical strength and stamina needed to even get started, most people stay far away from the extreme sport. But of course, Tyler Armstrong isn't like most people. By the young age of 8 years old, Tyler had already become the youngest person in history to climb Mount Whitney and had bested Africa's tallest mountain, Kilimanjaro, something that the majority wow. of adults who attempt fail at. But with an early start like that, it's obvious obvious that Tyler wasn't satisfied, and just a year later he managed to conquer the tallest peak in the southern hemisphere, Mount Aconcagua in Argentina, coming in at an insane 22,841 feet tall. Only one in three people who try to climb Aconcagua succeed, and usually the age limit is 14. Tyler's parents actually had to hire a lawyer to get permission for their son to even get near the mountain. <laughs> We're pretty sure that once they saw his climbing skills, the Argentinian government didn't need Need much time to come to a decision. Now at just 16 years old, he's conquered mountains all over the world and currently has his sights set on doing the Big Seven, the tallest mountain on every continent. With his early start, he's already got about half the list down, and there's no doubt he'll probably finish the list before he's even done with high school. That's crazy. Hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shout outs we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shot, he said he already did like three mountains. That's crazy. Nah, this was a cool video. I actually really like this. They didn't even show the fastest kid in the world. <laughs> or maybe they did. I don't know. Let me know if I'm tripping. But if you guys are new to the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss any videos. Like I said, let's get this video to 30 likes. Comment down below what other videos you want me to react to. It's your boy Zente. Catch you in the next vid. Shout out 808 Mellow. Ooh.